Good morning. Um, this is board chair Gil Dominguez and I would like to call this public hearing to order at this time. I will now ask um, Ms. Maria Lorenzo to provide information and background on the need for the public hearing and the procedures to be followed. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dominguez. This online hearing is to consider proposed amendments to section 1399.127, the board's regulations as outlined in the public notice regarding advertising for hearing aid dispensing, which notice in the California regulatory notice was posted on our website and sent to all who have requested such notice. This hearing is being held pursuant to the procedure set forth in the Administrative Procedure Act. Today is March 1st, 2024, and it is 11.01 a.m. This meeting is being recorded to capture all verbal comments made by the public. If you are able to submit your comments in written form um, via email to speech and hearing at dca.ca.gov, again, that's speech and hearing at dca.ca.gov, that would be helpful so that the board is able to capture your comment accurately. If any written comments have been received on a proposal, they will be part, made part of the permanent record. Please be sure to keep your phone muted until further notice. All oral testimony and documentary evidence will be considered by the board pursuant to the requirements of the Administrative Procedure Act before the board formally adopts the proposed regulatory action or recommends changes that may evolve as a result of this hearing. If any interested person desires to provide oral testimony, please um, unmute your phone when prompted Although not required, we would appreciate appreciate it if you give our uh, give your name and address, and if you present represent an organization, the name of that organization, so that we will have a record of all those who comment and can notify you of any modifications to this regulatory proposal. Uh, please remember to mute your phone again after making your comment. It is the desire of the board that the record of the hearing be cleared and intelligent. Uh, intelligible and that the hearing itself be orderly, thus providing all parties with fair and ample opportunity to be heard. The board will not respond to any comments at this time, but may ask clarifying questions. Responses to timely, relevant, and adverse comments will be considered and discussed at a board meeting. The board will respond to all oral and written comments received in its final statement of reasons which will be included in the rulemaking file for the proposed regulatory action and which will be posted on our website and be available from the contact person as stated in the original public notice. The original notice, proposed text, and initial statement of reasons are also available on our website and from the same contact person. A complete copy of the rulemaking will also be available for review at the board's office in Sacramento. After all interested parties, have been heard, the issues will stand submitted. If you wish to place be placed on our mailing list, you can indicate so in the comment box. And then it appears that we have two attendees with us. Um, are there any questions concerning the nature of the proceeding or the procedure to be followed um, here before we begin? And this is the moderator. If you have a question, you can click on the hand icon, which is along the bottom row of the computer screen, or if you're on a mobile device, it's probably behind the three dot other options. If you click that hand, it will raise your hand and then we can send you a request to unmute your microphone. And the other option for making comments is to look for the question mark icon again on the bottom row of the WebEx computer screen or behind the three dot other options. And once that question mark icon gets clicked, you'll see a text box and you can type the word comment into that box and click send. And then we will again send you a request to unmute your microphone. Are there any comments at this time?
and I do have a raised hand from someone logged into WebEx as Joe Bartlett. Joe, I'm going to send you a request to unmute your microphone. And you're unmuted. Clarifying, was this the comment just on uh, whether or not we understood the um, the directions that were just given, or did you open up for the actual comments for this uh, this bill? Um, it's questions regarding the procedure. Great, I apologize. I was uh, just wanted to make sure I didn't miss <laughs> the opportunity. And at this point, I do not see any raised hands or requests for clarification on the process. Uh, thank you, moderator. Um, if there aren't any questions on the procedure, we'll um, now start opening up for public comments on the proposal. Um, I would like to remind that when you testify at your discretion, please clearly identify yourself and any organization you represent. Speak loudly enough so that your testimony can be heard and recorded. It's not necessary to repeat testimony of previous commenters. In sufficient to merely, um, it is sufficient to merely indicate that your agreement with the comment made. When you testify, please identify the specific portion of the re regulation you are addressing. And if you have submitted written comments, please do not read them. And now we're open for public comment. All right, and I do see the raised hand from Joe Bartlett. Joe, I'm going to send you the request to unmute so that you can make your comment. And you're unmuted. And I'm back. Uh, thank you again. Uh, um, my name is Joe Bartlett, and uh, I am the immediate past president of Hearing Healthcare Providers of California. And we do represent a great deal of uh, hearing aid dispensers and some audiologists in uh, in California. I also have a uh, business called Bartlett's Hearing Aid Centers. Uh, we have four locations uh, in the Northern Valley. Um, and my comments, uh, I know Hearing Healthcare Providers of California has presented a, a written comment, but I wanted to add some additional testimonial to this um, uh, limiting portion of this uh, uh, regulation, uh, specifically in, in section C um, of the changes to where the address uh, and principal place has to be on the advertisement. I wanted to make sure that it was considered the fact that um, a lot of this does take up some space um, and myself and many other people that advertise in California do use television advertising or other forms where it's not um, cost, you know, it's cost prohibitive to add a, a lot of, of content um, because of like TV advertising does take time. And uh, by the time the fonts happen, you would be losing the information necessary. And the main ask that we're looking at is that is considered website um, to be an, an available thing for this or a QR code, uh, but referencing that the, um, uh, the the spirit of this, I know, hopefully, is that, uh, that it's transparent as to who's providing the service. But I would hope that the board can consider the fact that uh, there are much more modern methods of providing that information, and that should be considered when updating this uh, uh, change in the advertising laws and regulation. So, again, I. Say, um, considering that a website can have all the information readily available at a click or a QR code uh, by a, a camera, taking a picture of a QR code can give you an abundant level of information of what the business is doing. So that's our main focus. Other than that, I would like to say this is fantastic for clarity to happen. And, and I believe this is great for the consumer to be able to get more information as they go forward. And that is the end of my, my comment. Thank you for hearing me today. And this is the moderator. If you would like to make a public comment on in the public hearing, you may raise your hand by clicking on the hand icon. You may request a comment by clicking on the question mark icon, typing the word comment into that text box and click send. 
or if it, uh, we don't have any calling users, but calling users can press star three to raise their hand. At this point, no one else has their hand raised, but we will be here for open comments until 1130. And good morning, this is the moderator. The Speech Language Pathology and Audiology and Hearing Aid Dispensers Board is taking comments from the public on the reg proposed regulatory action to amend Section 1399.127 of Article 5, Division 13.3, Title 16 of the California Code of Regulations. Instructions for making public comment are displayed on the screen. If you would like to make a comment, you can look for either the hand icon and click that to raise your hand or the question mark icon. Click that, type the word comment into the text box and click send. In either case, I will send you a request to unmute your microphone to make your comment. Thank you and the board meeting will begin at 1130. And good morning. The Speech Language Pathology and Audiology and Hearing Aid Dispensers Board is holding a public hearing on the proposed regulatory action to amend Section 1399.127 of Article 5, Division 13.3, Title 16 of the California Code of Regulations. If anyone would like to present a comment or public statement about this proposal, you may do so at this time and we will show instructions on the screen. If you would like to make a comment, you can click on the hand icon to raise your hand or you may click on the question mark icon, type the word comment in the text box there and click send. Anyone would like to make a comment, you may do so at this time. This is the DCA moderator. We are coming up to the end of the allotted time for public comment on the proposed regulatory action. At 1130, the board member, the board meeting will begin. Thank you. It's now 1130. We thank everyone for part their participation and comments. This is the end of our regulatory hearing.